Well, the Maccabees. I just heard you playing. We, we were walking down the parking and it was very loud, even mm -hmm. though the, the boxes were that way. Was it that loud? Was it, I thought, I thought we, was it loud? It felt no. loud because it was so early in the morning. Yeah, so it felt of, more loud than it maybe it was. It's a kind of wake up. But were, there, were there already a lot of people or was it? There were loads of people actually. Mm. For a kind of thing at, um, for a thing at 12 o'clock. Or whatever it was there's mu lots of, a lot of people, and it's still something we haven't we haven't um, come to Holland as much as we should have done really. So it's it's really nice that that many people turn up to see. It's a point for us to do it. Mm -hmm. Have you often played such early gig, like twelve o'clock? We've done it once before. Yeah, last year I think it was a festival. Is a pickle pop. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Played quite early on there as well. But it's good. It's always a good turnout, which is uh, nice. But do, do you prefer playing? Early or later, does it matter? Um, I think some of the songs don't necessarily lend themselves to uh, just waking up and playing them. <laughs> but, uh, you know. We were talking about it last night, actually. Like when, when you play later on, it's almost like you've got this kind of build up to the show. So you've got all day to kind of get, uh, get, get in the mindset for it, sort of thing. So that's a bit more kind of, I don't know, I feel a bit more into it because you've got build up rather than kind of playing early, get out of the way sort of thing. But but this way we can have it done and watch the Pixies later, you know, yeah. so that's kind of, it's not so bad. But doesn't your music fit in better in a, in a dark room? Isn't yeah. That, 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 yeah, that, I'd that's say so, it's yeah. At its best, right? Well, I think that's the, that's the problem, I think, for a lot of bands in festival situations is the challenge is without walls that it becomes a, the, the wrong environment or very difficult to recreate a kind of intimate or the correct atmosphere but um, yeah, I think that's a test to being a great band as well yeah. is but you can adapt to those situations and it's something we're still learning to be honest on those big open stages making it work mm -hmm. because if, if you don't have a strong song then it won't stand out when, when there's no light well exa exactly and like yeah that. and you kind of about in, in little in venues, you can just bounce off the energy. There's a kind of like contagious element. Yeah, it's really like to feel that everyone's kind of included in the whole event. Whereas when it's out in the open air, it's all a bit kind of spread out. It's yeah, harder, harder to get. That dude's eating a hot dog over there, <laughs> and he's not even, you know, he's, he's, he's just, taking just a piss seen. against a fence over there. <laughs> it's like very difficult to kind of like, is everyone into this? <laughs> Maybe you can see too much. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you're touring now, and you have toured a lot. Um, uh, what things can't you do that you otherwise would have done because of being in this band? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it can't, you know, yeah. with our lives. Yeah, because y the band is your life right now, but I, there must be things you, you would have done if you weren't in the band. What would you have done, Sam? Well, I've done uh, all sorts of things. I'm quite interested what Sam would have done with his life. Uh, no, I'm actually, I'm actually quite into filmmaking. I wanted to get into filmmaking. Uh, a few years ago, but um, I used to try and do kind of both at the same time, but then obviously music is uh, most important to me. Yeah. So that's something you can't do now because you're in the band? Uh, well, yeah, no, not necessarily, but yeah, I suppose so, but I much prefer being in the band. It's like mm -hmm. best job in the world, I reckon. Have you, Felix? Um, I've, there's uh, yeah, loads of things, like when, we, when we've been writing the album, I'm going, I've uh, been at home, I'll try and watch Fulham Football Club as much as I can. So I managed to have time to do that. And I've got, I've got a feeling time for watching Fulham and going to watch cricket. <laughs> um, but that's ne not necessarily what I would have done as a full time <laughs> yeah. job. But I would have liked to have done it. As a commenter. Yeah, right. And uh, other than that, sometimes you feel a little bit uh, guilty because your job is just to kind of roll out of bed and just play guitar. You know, and I, I was getting, getting to the stage where I feel like you need, need to kind of be learning some more stuff or you feel like you haven't really got a trade, do you know what I mean, or anything like that, and you kind of realise the fickle nature of it, but... But do you really feel guilty about that? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah? But, or, but I wouldn't change any of it, but sometimes I feel like uh, there are more... I think, you know, music's a great thing to do and people love it and it's a dream job, but... A lot of, there's a lot of people that do much more worthwhile things than just make music and go around and play in it. And so sometimes I think there's a little bit too much gravity forced on people in bands because they haven't got anything more to say than anybody else. Mm. That's something you learn about me. I know that might be depressing, but 
I think that's true, you know.